Yes. <laughs> That's good. The last time I saw that, you know where I was? I was with Roy Mayweather's gym in Las Vegas. <laughs> you know, talk to us about this kid. How good is this kid? Uh, as good as it gets, you know. Uh, you know, he has the talent, he has the skills, he has the charisma, and he has the character. He has the family behind him. He really has the right foundation. I know uh, it's going to be up to him and up to us to really make this grow and uh, introduce him to the world. And uh, we're going to have uh, Saturday night, uh, Sunday night, uh, on April the 9th, we're going to let him loose. And the world, can, the world can see him. We have a lot of new faces, a lot of fresh talent. Talk to us about that event. That's what we need, you know, in boxing. We sort of like are at that level where I think we need to get the next generation, the next stars who can really, uh, you know, relate to the younger generation as well, to the next generation of white fans. I think it's sort of like a transition a bit, but I do believe that these guys here are going to be the future of the sport. You know, speaking of Mayweather, you just mentioned him. A lot of people are talking about Mayweather versus McGregor. Do you think that's really going to happen? Because he says it's happening well, this year. If you would have asked me a month ago, I would have said no. <laughs> but now I feel it is going to happen because you have um, Dana White supporting it as well. Yeah. And so I think it's really up to uh, Conor McGregor now if he wants to do it. You know, Freddie says he yeah, outboxes McGregor to throw around, but I think Mayweather stopped him. I don't know. Uh, I just think, you know, uh, it doesn't matter who you put across the ring for Floyd Mayweather. Whether if it's Conor McGregor or Conor this or Conor that or Mac this or Mac that, Floyd is going to make it as easy as he always does. He makes the best fighters look average and he's going to make the best MMA fighter look below average. Right. And so that's just how he is. That's how good he is. So let's talk about Mikey Garcia. Now, Mikey Garcia is the WBC lightweight champion. You have Jorge Linares, who just beat Anthony Carolla in a rematch this Saturday. People were talking about Garcia versus Linares. Will we see that fight? Well, I hope so. You know, I think it will be a great fight. Uh, I do believe that Mikey Garcia is, uh, is, is really top 10 pound, pound. I think top 5, in my opinion, to be honest. Um, I think he has it all. He has the charisma, bilingual, the intelligence inside of the ring, outside of the ring, the punching power, with the, just everything. Um, I think he's going to be the guy who's going to carry the sport going forward. Yeah, talk to us about ring start promotions and how much more we should expect this year. How many more fights? How many more fighters are we going to sign? Uh, well, you know, I'm sort of like not really in a rush to sign too many. I really want to focus on those guys I have now, keep them busy, uh, build them up in different markets as well. I'm uh, going to be having a fight on June 2nd in Paris with Tony Yoka. Uh, oh, yes, yes. So look, they call uh, and then I'm working on some uh, fights in England as well, together with David Hay. Um, I'm going to continue to build those guys up here, including showcasing Israel and Carlos in Mexico as well, because I want them to become stars in Mexico and stars in the United States. So I'm going to be busy. Yeah, talk to us about David Hay. Is he going to be able to bounce back after that uh, upset loss again? Uh, you know, he is in high spirits. I talked to him a few days ago and uh, talked to him right after the fight. So he sort of like uh, is hungrier than ever. He clearly is a champion, you know, he doesn't want to have his career end like this. And he had to go 